Hi, I'm David Ansari, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Lambda Space 2D, right? So you can create a strafing with that, right? So let me show you how it will look like. You can see we have this dragon. If we go forward, it's okay. If we go right, it's okay. If we go left, okay. If we go back, okay. But if we go to um, up left, and you can see up right, and you can see all the animation should work fine. Doesn't matter which. And you can see all the animation should work fine. Doesn't matter which direction it's walking. It should work fine, right? So let me show you how you can do this is kind of stuff with Blender Space 2D. First of all, I want to thank my Patreon supporters. Second, I want to say that this video is a part of video series about animations in Unreal Engine 5. We start from downloading a character, rigging that character, create an animation for that character, target whatever animation out there for that character and now we have a lot of animation to work with right and and in last video i did show you how you can use blender space 1d no let's just use blend blender space 2d right i always say that um uh, this time i will take my time to explain everything but as as soon as i start recording i get nervous and maybe i forget to tell you something so if i forget to tell you something please leave it in comment and if you want to help me hit that like button right now <laughs> thank you very much we have our character in here and if you remember from last video we have a character and we have a game mode and we set that game mode for our level in here okay dragon game mode we call it dragon game mode right so first thing first let's just go to our character you remember when we hold shift it should run when we hit a space it should jump with its animation and when we hit w you should go forward right now i'm going to show you how you can go to right go to left and all of that right so first what i'm going to show you is how we can move right and move left again let's just go here move we have move forward and move backward but we have move right and move left as well with a and d let's just implement that right so we say move right okay the one that we need is input access event move right left we need this and with that let me first bring this down here for example and bring this here because i need another thing from this camera right let's just put this here for example and we need another add movement like this we want to add movement to our character right we say add movement input and with that it need the execution panel so let's just connect that it need a scale value we need that as well so if we if we hit d it will be one and if we hit a it will be minus one so in here if we hit a it should give us minus one and if we hit d it should give us one okay so with this we need the direction as well because uh, at default it is zero and nothing should happen you remember we with camera we get the forward vector but there is another thing in here that we call it get right vector okay and it will get you the direction if if we let me show you in here if you are looking at this way the get the vec get the right vector give us this okay you can see this is forward vector this is right vector so um that's how it works right so we can give it the word direction like this and let me bring this down bring this down so it look a little bit better right i think that's good enough so with that if we compile and run our game you can see we can go forward backward and left and right but you can see the animation is not okay animation is not working fine right so for animating to the right and left again we can use blender space 1d but in this case i want to show you how you can use blender space 2d right so for doing that we should go to content drawer and in here we have this animation blueprint right that we calculate the speed and set the variable for that we check if it if we are on air but don't worry about them what i want to calculate in here is let me bring this here we want to get the actor rotation because we need a direction for our blender space right so with with getting the actor rotation we can get the direction that it's moving we need to get that right so if it's moving to the right it should play the jog right or walk to the right or run to the right animation right and if the the, the direction of the velocity direction of our player that is moving to is to the left so our animation should play the animation that we jog to the left or run to the left or walk to the left right so we say get actor 
rotation okay with that it will give us actor rotation and after that we need to calculate direction and with this calculate direction it will calculate the direction that our character is going to okay so if it's go to right it will give us that direction right so again it needs a velocity you remember we get the velocity here so we can put it in here okay easy no it will calculate the direction for us and let's just add another variable and i want to call this direction okay and we we want to change this to a float okay so the direction should be a value between 0 to 360 or minus 180 and positive 180 right so this case this calculate direction give us a value between minus 180 and 180 so with that degree with that direction we can play the right animation right so we want to set that direction in here with this direction and let's just put it up here and connect this execution pin to here now we have a speed we have is it on air and we have direction as well so no we are finished we this event graph right so now let's just go and create our blend space right so in here i want to create it in this animation control folder right click go to animation this time use blend space okay and choose your skeleton and let's just call it bs2 <laughs> okay so dragon and that's cool right we work with bs uh the normal bs that is blended space 1d no let's just use blended space 2d let me bring it up here and you can see it has a horizontal axis and vertical axis it's just the difference between them okay so first of all i want to name these horizontal axis and vertical axis for example the horizontal axis i want it to be direction of where our player is going to the right to the left to front or backward right so the vertical axis i want it to be a speed and the speed this time i want to be between 0 and 200 and the minimum value for direction i want to be minus 180 and 180 okay now we have this the speed is vertical like this and the direction is horizontal right but for you to see these correctly let me do something else i want to go to animation blueprint and show this direction to you with a print string right we say print print a string okay and we want to show this direction right so with that we can show the direction let me run our game now and you can see right now it's easy it's zero if you go forward it's zero if you go to the right it will be 90 if you go to the left it will be minus 90 if you go back it will be 180 or minus 180 it doesn't matter if we go this way okay it should give us something about 45 and if we go to this way it should give us something about minus 45 or this time it should it give us 46 that's cool right so now with this data let's just go here you remember when i play it in debug when we go forward okay the direction was zero so it should play a for example forward animation okay jog forward right so i want to you can put it wherever you want but where do you think we should put it should we put it in here where do you think we should put it right now you know that when we go forward the direction is zero so this jog forward should be at direction zero that is in middle right so that's cool but the speed when we jog forward the speed of our character will be maximum right will be 200 so let's just put it at top because the speed is 200 and you can see i can't put it correctly but we can go here and tell it to snap to grid for horizontal axis and a snap to grid for vertical axis okay so now i can put it here correctly and if you click in here you can see the name of that jog forward retargeted is at the um sp 200 and the direction zero right so everything cool with that let's just disable this no again let me go here and run this if we go to the right it will be 90 you can see if we go to right the direction will be 90 so we need jog right in 90 right so in here the 90 where is it is if this is 180 this is 90 right so let's just search for right okay jog is straight right i want to use this one and i can put it in here okay you can see it this is 90 and minus 90 you guessed it it should be left right jog left so let's just do that as well jog left okay and now that we done that let's just again run our game and see what is the value when we backward and you can see it give us 180 right so at 
at 180 or minus 180 at both of them it, it is going backward right so it should play the backward animation right so let's just put it put them there like this okay no if we hold control and go through all of these you can see no it go to the right it go backward it go to the left it go backward again right you can see it but if you go here it's just again is running the speed is zero so what we can do about that we can say we can put a idle animation in here for example this one we can put it in here and no if you hold control go here you can see everything cool and the animation is working fine everything cool but you remember about this is moving time it's better to change it to something like 0.2 and for this is moving time point two as well and if we can change this to ease and easy and is out you should play with these values so you can find a cool value in there no you can see everything is cool everything cool everything is working fine no our blend space 2d is working fine okay so let's just apply that in our animation blueprint we should go to this this animation graph right in animation graph and you know it we should go to movement state machine and in here go to walk and running in a, in a set of using blend space 1d let's just leave that and use bs2 blender space 2 dragon that we just create right there was a test uh under that i tested before recording this video so let's just connect this here it needs a direction and a speed so let's just give it first the speed that we calculate in last video and the direction that we calculate in this video right everything cool let's just compile save Control shift s to save everything no let's just run our game everything is working fine and we are strafing right everything is working cool so that was it guys for this video i hope you like it and please 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 if you want to help me and you like this video hit that like button and subscribe to my channel it's my honor to have you here thank you thank you thank you very much for watching bye